I was thinking maybe, um, you know, we'd kind of get out of the house today and maybe me and you can go off and go kind of hang out and, and have some fun. Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah, I'm down. When I first met Matt, he had a skateboard in his hand, so I figured, you know, well, that'd be a that'd be a great opportunity that we can spend some time with each other. So I thought I would take him to the skate park. I was stoked to go to the skate park. Skateboarding is very important to me. Wish I could skate, maybe it'd be a little more fun. Yeah. Found out that he needed to wear his you know elbow pads and knee pads, and um, right off the bat, I could kind of tell that that was going to be an issue. Well, I had the elbow pads and knee pads on. Just wouldn't let me skate the way I wanted to. Made me pissed off, and I can't skate when I'm pissed off. How's it going? Terrible. Skateboarding was one of his passions, but he was getting a little angry with it because he felt like, I'm not going to be able to skate. Really? What the Watch your mouth. Use your self-control. You can do this. Come on. I knew at that moment he was too far gone with anger for me to get mad at him for using profanity. So at that point, I just wanted to watch and see what he was going to do. Oh my God! Come on, man. You're leaning, you're leaning too far forward. Yeah, because I have all these retarded ass pads What's on. What's a pad got to do with you leaning forward? Absolutely nothing. It's not the pad. You're blaming it on the pad. Come on, do it. Let's go. Dude, what the f Don. Dead. Wow. Matt. He began to really start losing it. You're just going to run off because you couldn't land that. I'm pissed. Uh, I don't want to skate with all these on. Don't let me hear that out of your mouth again, because when we get home, we'll do some things to keep you from doing that. You can't overcome four pads. What's going to happen if something really happens in your life? This is not about pads. This is about your life, Matt, and where you're going from here. Look at me. You need to go out there and try your hardest and not walk away. When you're in this family, look at me. When you're in the Wilcox family, we don't quit. We don't walk away from things that are hard. We're going to work through them, and we're going to do hard things. I just figured, wow, I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to go skateboard. Look at that. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I told you you could do it. It was important for Matt to understand that it wasn't the pads that was keeping him from being able to do the tricks. Woohoo! Wow. Getting used to those pads now. I was happy Jack got me this day because if I missed out on skating in the park, I would have been pretty upset. After we got home from the skate park, I wanted Matt to understand that um, even though he was mad and everything, it wasn't an excuse for him cussing and using the profanity. Wash it down real good, wipe it out, and get it nice and clean. There you go. And I'll be back to check on you. My uh, lack of self-control gets me into trouble a lot. When you're angry, you just got to cool down and then just go back to what you're doing. It smells a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it smells like some good soap. So what'd you think about while you were doing this? Uh, profanity and how to not use it. Exactly. We really hadn't had any real anger issues come up to this magnitude. And I was really glad that it happened because I saw some things in Matt's life, and it was heart that came up that he really needed to work on. Good day. Good day. Good job. <laughs>